Chicken Air, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be diving into Dr. Terrence, but first, I kind of want to show off. Um, we took down our first Foxtrot, guys, and we did it with... Uh, uh, we probably could have done it in five attacks, but um, I'm not sure if these guys... Yeah, one of these guys didn't uh, fully boost or whatever, so we'll we'll show the, the actual attacks after. There actually was a nice chicken one for once, so definitely going to show that, guys, but... Uh, First, let's go ahead and dive into Dr. Terrence. I already did stages 1 through 5 because I honestly just find them kind of boring. And, um, I don't know. I, I feel like there's not, like, a whole lot of people that really get stuck on stages 1 to 5, especially for the Tropical Dr. T. If that isn't the case, then let me know. And, uh, I can kind of, like, go over how I attack them and, uh, just some easy ways that, uh, that you guys could do it too. If you want, if you're interested in, uh, anything like that, guys. Brack, brack, brack. Okay, so we're going to be launching the Zookas out, and we've got a bit of a long walk on this stage 6 here, guys. We're going to go all the way back here, and hopefully we can get a decent a decent uh, kind of path here. we got a couple Zemon headers there, guys. They're going to uh, they're gonna flap their beaks and kind of go their own way, but that's okay. we got, uh, we got most of them lined up. Uh, I think we do anyways. Okay. So, for the most part, we're going to be in the in the no-fire zone of the rocket launcher, so I'm really not too worried about that. There's only, like, it looks like only one shock that we need here. Maybe one on the mortars, too, uh, just to be safe. So, we'll go ahead and shock, shock. Uh, I probably should have thrown some critters out there. Uh, I really don't think it's going to make any difference here. Because once you get in, in this little pocket, on stage 6 today, today, guys, there's, like, literally nothing that can touch you if you have two shocks, so... Um, I don't think we lost any there except for all the ones we lost on the way there. Uh, so clean up the walk a little bit. Um, don't do it completely like the chicken guys. Usually not the best idea. But uh, anyways, we're going to dive right back on in to stage 7 of Dr. Terrence. See what we've got in store today. Um, okay. Okay, not, uh, not great. Not great. Not horrible either. Um... I'm going to go ahead and clear out that stuff. I think the best way to do this today, guys, is to get behind that rocket launcher there. Um, so it's going to be a pretty expensive walk. Uh, if you don't have a lot of GBE, probably easier using... Well, of course, you're going to be easier using uh, Tank Medic or something like that. But uh, I don't know. We'll try to do it with the Zooks. See what uh, see what the chicken can cook up for us here, guys. Um, I'm going to go something like that. And I'm just going to try to keep... The bulk of them safe here. I know I lost a few there, uh, but that should be okay. So we'll go ahead and double smoke like that. Uh, we actually have most of them still left here, so maybe we can uh, maybe we can chicken our way out of this one, guys. Maybe we can chicken our way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and okay, wow. Um, shock, shock, double med kit. Uh, I'm gonna throw. Actually, I'm going to wait and uh, shock the flamethrower again, because I think that's going to pop up on us for a second. And boom, stage 7. Barely, barely, by the skin of our beaks, guys, goes down. Wow, look at that. What do we have left? 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, not under 10 Zookas. Like, again, I'm not an optometrist here with the math, guys, so. Um, 95 casualties. Okay, well... Could have been better, also could have been worse, so uh, we will take that, guys, we will take that, and uh, let's just go right ahead and um, and go into the operation here. Uh, we'll go over all of them, since there's only um, a few attacks, really. Um, so we first we have Nessie going in on duality here, guys, and uh, Nessie's a pretty good player. I think, um, I think he just joined a couple days ago, so he went ahead and took out uh, duality, and I believe this was the first attack. Um, Basically, as soon as the operation opened up, he just kind of sprinted right into duality. So he must feel pretty comfortable with it. <clears throat> bit of a bit of a wonky spread there, but that was okay. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'll play all the attacks in two speed. That feels like a good, good, uh, good speed for it. So pretty easy duality. Um, sometimes you get some weird rocket launchers. Uh, he unluckily missed that one rocket launcher. But look at that! It, it it was so weird. It was like it froze. Like it it, it shot him the the one time right, and then it just took like. I don't know why it didn't keep firing. Like, it was obviously in range. It shot the ones at the back, so... I don't know. Um, nonetheless, good attack. And then we have the chicken. The chicken. Going in on uh, on Ransom here, guys. So I wanted to pull... Um, 
a crazy turtle scorcher zuka attack but um if we look at this one here it's actually a super easy ransom because uh here's the core right i can't seem to click on it but um <clears throat> So there's these rocket launchers in range. These two at the back aren't. Um, I'm gonna want to get up uh, right about where that mine is there. And then there's um, these back. So none of these rocket launchers are in range here. So it's just these two uh, that I really have to worry about. And uh, of course the machine gun. So I only needed three shocks. It was like a pretty easy, uh, a pretty easy ransom. The only tricky part was the landing. And that wasn't tricky. I just suck at landing. So that was the only difficult part for me. <clears throat> You see, look at all the time I'm taking here trying to like mathematically like analyze the uh, the landing, um, and I still managed to screw it up somehow. Like I got the two smokes, they they came out, and oh, okay, right here I I tapped on the on the up part, but I was hitting too high on my phone. I need to switch to an iPad or something, and I swear I got uh, at least three invalid locations in a row just because of where I was tapping on my phone, and. Um, the smoke almost expired, um, I, I probably would have been roasted instantly by those flamethrowers, so that would have been like an epic chicken fail, guys. But we did make it there, uh, the walk went uh, pretty okay, there was a pretty massive spread, so I'm glad I decided to double smoke. Um, okay, I guess there, that, that other rocket launcher wasn't range a little bit, but it didn't matter, we were able to kind of heal our way through it. And it's only Foxtrot, so I mean, it's not like massive attack health or anything, um... But, uh, but yeah, that, that one uh, went down for us. Next, we got Voodoo. And Voodoo has been awesome. All of his attacks so far have just been amazing. I'm very happy to have him in the, uh, in the chicken coop, guys. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm going to throw up uh, a tag somewhere for the chicklets uh, because the chicken coop is full. If you want to join, join chicklets. We'll see you from there. We'll get you in. Um, download the app Band. That's where, we all, uh, that's where we all talk on it and uh, stay in touch with all the task force stuff and everything. Um, but yes, we got Voodoo here, and really nice heavy Zooka attack. You see he shocks the, the flamethrowers, the shock launchers, he uses the critters to distract, and he's able to take it down from there, so that was a really awesome attack, so shout out to Voodoo on that one. Uh, that was probably the best attack of this OP, I think. Uh, then we've got Horse, uh, Horser going in on um, Quick Charge. This was a really good attack, I think if I remember correctly, he almost finished. Um, I'll play this one on four speed because it takes a very long time to get through it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is the standard way to take quick charge, but it worked really well for us today. I think I think in general you want to go right with Zookas and uh, take out the shock launcher and then kind of work your way up from there. Um, depend depends on what kind of layout you get, uh, what what kind of layout you get for uh, for that day. Um, so he takes out the shock launcher and the doom cannons. You have to get the doom cannons too now, and then he. Um, he works his way back here and he GBs down all of these rockets. Um, guessing that he didn't think he was going to have enough time to finish. That's probably why he did that. Otherwise, um, like if, maybe if he didn't have the shields, he could have just shocked it or something. But still, uh, you see, he works his way through here. He gets to the back there. There's nothing in range anymore except that shock blaster on the, on the far end. Um, but that only touches him up a little bit, and then he's able to kind of get there in the pocket, and he almost finishes it right there, so, uh, shout out to Horse on that one. Uh, the Horse and the Chicken, guys. Okay, so then we got Mad Mac. Uh, we don't need to show that. He just gets back and destroys it. And then, uh, we had, like, four attacks left at this point, so we got a really nasty combo, uh, because we had the Hot Pot here, <clears throat> so it needed... Uh, there, apparently you can shock the core and hit the hot pot and these two machine guns at the same time and then you just need one more shock here and then one here so I guess it's it's uh, <clears throat> it's basically the same uh, GBE wise combo that, that you would normally use but uh, since we had extra attacks we played it safe and we had um, bond went in with scorchers and uh, and kind of cleared it up for us so the next guy was able to uh, we're just gonna fast forward through this um, I think you get the idea. The scorches go up, they destroy stuff, whatever. Uh, and then we had Harry, who is a new name to me, guys. I've not uh, not seen Harry yet. I hope he hasn't been around the whole time. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we got Harry going in to, uh, to finish it out here, guys. Uh, we'll play it in four speed for this walk because there's nothing in range here. Uh, we're going to slow it down for the shocks when he does get up here. This is going to be interesting to see. I actually haven't watched this one yet. So he gets up here. And I think you need to double smoke across on this now. Like, I've, I've screwed it up enough times. It looks like all of Zookas did stay bunched up, though, so. <clears throat> that was, okay, that was cool, because, um, 
Because he didn't have to shock it, like I said before, just because of the way the Zookas were standing. I didn't know you could get them to stand like that. So I guess that helps, guys. Um, I'm not sure if we needed the, the Scorch attack after seeing that. We probably could have had him just go in like that regardless. I guess he would have wasted more GB uh, smoking on the beach and everything. But uh, either way, uh, super happy about the, the chicken coop, guys. Uh, it's going really well. And uh, glad to see we got our first Foxtrot down. We're going to be starting um, Stronghold later today. So... Um, Definitely be on the lookout for that, guys. And uh, as and I want you to let me know down in the comments uh, what your favorite <clears throat> troop composition is for unboosted map clearing. I've kind of been going back and forth with like Zuka's warriors and uh, rifle cryo Zuka medic, and um, I don't know. I've just been kind of like jumping around with everything. Um, you see here using the warriors, losing a lot of troops, but um, I don't know. I, I I want you guys to let me know what what your flavor of the month right now is for uh, using unboosted map clearing is it still some form of rzm or uh or whatever you're using that's gonna wrap entertaining or informative and we'll see you in the next one guys chicken out